Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose A and B are sets. Then the union of A set minus B and B is equal to A, if and only if B is a subset of A. So to start out the proof, let's give ourselves two sets A and B. And our goal is to prove this is true if and only if this is true. And we're trying to prove a statement containing if and only if. So what we can do is we can prove if this is true, then this is true. And then we can prove if this is true, then this is true. Let's start out by proving if this is true, then this is true. To do so, suppose this is true. And our goal is to deduce that B is a subset of A. Which means we're trying to prove that everything in B is also an A. And to do that, give me an arbitrary element of B. I'll call it X. Now, since X is an element B, we know that X is an element of B or A set minus B. However, since this set is equal to A, we have that X is an element of A. And so putting this together, we give ourselves an arbitrary element in B, and we show that that same element is also an A. Since X was arbitrary, this means everything in B is also an A. So, B is a subset of A. So, we have proven if this is true, then this is true. Now let's prove if this is true, then this is true. And to do so, suppose this is true. And our goal is to deduce that these two sets are equal. And to do so, we can show that everything in this set is also in this set, and everything in this set is also in this set. Let's start out by showing that everything in this set is also in this set. And to do so, give me an arbitrary element of this set. I'll call it x. Now, either x is an element of a set minus b, or x is an element of b. And in either case, we're going to show that x is an element of a. Let's start with case one, where x is an element of a set minus b. Well, what this means is that x is an element of a, and x is not an element of b. So, x is an element of a. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So that completes case one. Now let's move on to case two, where x is an element of b. Well, since b is a subset of a, we know that everything in b is also an a. So since x is an element of b, we have that x is an element of a. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So in either case, we have that x is an element of a. So from where we said either x is an element of a set minus b or x is an element of b, it follows that x is an element of a. So, since x was an arbitrary element of this set, we have that everything in this set is also an A. So what we've shown here is that everything in this set is also in this set. Now we're going to show everything in this set is also in this set. And to do so, give me an arbitrary element of A. I'll call it x. And now we want to show that x is an element of this set. And to do so, we're going to break this up into two cases. Either x is an element of b, or x is not an element of b. And, in either case, we're going to prove that x is an element of this set. Let's start with case 1, where x is an element of b. Now, in the case where x is an element of b, we have that x is an element of b or a set minus b. So, we have shown that x is an element of a set minus b union b as we wanted. So that completes case one. Now let's move on to case two, where x is not an element of b. Well, since x is an element of a and x is not an element of b, we have that x is an element of a set minus b. So again, we have that x is an element of a set minus b or b. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So in either case, we have that x is an element of a set minus b union b. So, from where we said x is an element of b or x is not an element of b, it follows that x is an element of a set minus b union b. And so putting this together, we started with an arbitrary element in a, and deduced that same element is also in a set minus b union b. 
Well, since it was arbitrary, this means everything in A is also in A set minus B union B. So A is a subset of A set minus B union B. So these two facts together tell us that the two sets are equal. So what we've proven here is we have proven if this is true, then this is true. So we have proven both directions of the if and only if. So we have proven this entire statement. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.